Calls of Teddy and Iron Boy focus attention back to the bay. Although he started five minutes later, Teddy Wong has passed much of the one design fleet and his time is approaching Ian. He gains valuable seconds by serving a boat wake and adds a little action to his father's shop. Four-time champion McHenry is about to sneak past Mauricio when he appears to fall in the same hole that got Ian. Experience tells the veteran the upwind pack's gonna require a dagger board, while the young Olympian relies on the enthusiasm of youth. Experience prevails. Steve Rad closes the Iron Man show with a final bit of acrobatics. Glenn Taylor makes sure everyone is accounted for, and Christine and her PC prepare the official results. First leg was really close. It's what happened going over. How'd well, you do it? Going over, I made a mistake. I had a really good start, but since there's an ebb tide, that means the tide is going out. That I, in, instead of coming going out there to catch the ebb tide, help you bring you to the mark, I went inside. And on the inside, near the shore, there's like a back 80 that reverses the tide. And I and I lost some ground there. But then, you know, at the But mark, you held on for a second yeah. lead in the, at the halfway point. Yeah. What did you think about when you were sitting over there for that hour or so? I was just thinking, I got to go fast on the way back. Was, did you, were you looking over your shoulder? That's hard. A little bit, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Are you a proud father, this Mr. Wall? Uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, look at the big smile. <laughs> Ian Barlett. Looked like he had the race all wrapped up, and then something happened to you. Yeah, I had a good lead over to the other side, which I thought about 15 seconds, and he beat me by 30 coming back because I dropped the dagger board at the very end. So Otherwise, it's you would be have probably close. had him in oh, I think boy. I had it. I thought I had it in the bag when I reached that mark, and I guess I relaxed and I blew it there. A little disappointed? Yeah, I'm a lot disappointed. This is my first crossing I really was excited over on the other side. So when I came back here and I reached that blue mark, I guess the energy just got to me, seeing the people, and I just lost it. Uh, well, I'll tell you, it, uh, it's not over yet. We'll wait for the results. Maybe there's yeah. a surprise in there. Maybe there's a if not, second isn't too shabby, and it's quite an incentive to go after next year. Yep, yeah, I'll be here. Okay, and good luck to you. The light air magic of Robbie Nash proved good for a new Golden Gate Crossing record. 19 minutes and 30 seconds for the combined legs, for an average speed of 22.39 miles per hour. Ian's slippery dagger board did give the One Design Championship to Dan Healy, and Teddy Wong's winning time of 26.51 in the Iron Person Division beat Healy's time by 30 seconds. Officially, the Jansen Golden Gate Crossing is over, but like all great traditions, it will never really end so long as there are sailboarders to follow the winds.